Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Lincoln and today I'm going to show you how to make these nice transparent insect wings. We're going to go into Procreate and trace off an image real quick and then we're going to bring it in and use the triplanar. Pretty quick and easy to do and super simple. All right, let's get to it. All right, first thing, I want to stretch this out and give something for the wings to attach to, give a little paint. So let's go ahead and do, I've got this already kind of set up like that. Now, I don't really like all the trees on there, so we'll come over, we'll grab this one. Kind of just a basic studio setup. Looks good. And let's go ahead and give it a little bit more exposure so it's a little brighter. Just a little bit. Just gives us something a little besides palm trees in the background. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go into Procreate. Now I already have this already set up and I'll put a link into my other video showing you how to make alphas because it'll show you how to make this canvas. It's basically 500 pixels by 500 pixels with 300 layers which doesn't really matter. Okay, now I have this as just a free photo, uh, copyright free. And you can see it's got the numbers and letters on there. We don't want any of this. And the thing, we're going to use triplanar. And the thing with triplanar is it doesn't like real pixelated images. So this would not work very well to begin with anyway. So we're going to add a layer. I'm going to come over to the pen. We're going to use an inking technical pen. And that'll work pretty good. I'm going to do a bright color. And... This way it's easy to see. And we'll just kind of do a quick tracing of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you want it to be a little bolder than what's on there. And when we go to use the triplanar, it really won't matter if it's a little bit larger on here because the triplanar like I said, it doesn't do real tight detail and it doesn't do pixelated images very well. If you do, it'll end up having a lot of missing area and information. So you can see I'm being real messy with this. Really doesn't matter too much with what we're going to do with the triplanar. Alright, so almost done here. Just a quick tracing just to show you how this works. And fill this in. And this may fill or it may not. Yeah, that did okay. Make this a little bolder because that top of the wing is much stronger right here next to the body. And we'll bolden these up a little bit. And then I do want to go ahead and run a little bit of a line back here just for that extra little bit of wing. Okay. So that's basically it. That's all we need. So we have their extra layer. We can turn that one off. And this layer, I'm going to come over to the adjustments, hue, saturation, brightness, run it all the way up, run it down to saturation to zero. Now you have a nice image and that looks pretty good. It could be still be a little bit on the on the thin side. So let's make this a little bit thicker. Just on a couple spots. They're just a little too thin. Because when we go to adjusted in nomad, this one really won't make any won't make any difference. So we'll just have to do our hue and saturation again. There we go. Alright, let's go and share it. And we can share it as a JPEG. A couple different ways you can do it. You can save image. You can save uh, to files. We'll just save to files on my iPad. You can save here and keep both. The other way, most of the time that I'll do this, just super easy. Save it as here, save it as an image, and then I'll export it directly in. Okay, so many different ways to do it. All right, so now that we're in here, we're going to go ahead and just hide this. So we'll turn that off, uncheck it. We're going to add a triplanar. Now you'll notice if we click to the front, you have this object in here already. So let's just go to the right side, click on it there. 
we're going to go to select mask rectangle you can turn off symmetry that doesn't matter click on unmask and we'll just unmask everything if you click on the gizmo turn around you have an empty triplanar now okay so go to the side it doesn't matter which one you choose right or the back either one as you can see on there now we're going to go to mask go up to the alpha and you can see I have one in here I was playing around with just kind of figuring out the thickness like I said it's it really makes a difference on your thickness so we're going to import from photos we'll grab grab this one add and we need to go over to stroke make sure it's on lock radius if it's on dot you're just going to paint with what you have so go back over to lock radius we have our alpha picked now the other thing you want to take a look at is the scaling i would scale it down a little bit if you don't the edges this top and bottom edge are going to fade out so you'll see even here it's got a little bit of a fade going on um, but it, that should be okay oops Go right mask and that looks pretty good right there let's go to the gizmo and rotate it and that looks good so what you want to do is go on the opposite side and you can see here like I said you know even though you have that image it is pixelated but we still have an image an issue right here at the base so right here we can go to the right go to mask go back to the stroke go to dot go to your alpha go here we'll come and bring it all the way down and that'll be good so we can fix this so it's easy to fix and you'll see it update itself in behind and if you want to th make things a little bit thicker a little bit bolder in areas easy to do and you'll see it automatically it's kind of jagged but you'll see it update in the back now we can turn this back around and that looks pretty good there's another little weird issue right here I'm gonna fix so get over here and I'll just add a little something so it actually closes it in and that looks good and there's another little hole right there I'll just take care of right there and it's easy it's easier to fix it on the triplanar than it is after you've already you know completed this so we'll kind of hit all these little spots right here just give it a little bit more make that one a little bit stronger and let's see how that looks okay so this is all emptied and that's what's going on right here so we're going to take a select mask we're going to click off unmask and that's probably what happened let's do a spot right here a line and now we have a nice thin wing okay so that looks pretty good and i'm going to leave that just as it is so once you get what you're looking for hit validate and we have a nice wing structure here Let's go ahead and just give it some paint. I want to darken it up a little bit. Dark green maybe. Give it a little bit of roughness. And paint all. Alright, so now we have a nice wing structure. Now you notice that it's pretty rough right here. Very pixelated. So I'm going to come in and you can multi-res, which is kind of nice because you can subdivide it and kind of see how it looks. And that looks pretty nice. And then I'll go over in Voxel and bring it up to about 500 and remesh. And I'm not worried about losing the resolution. Now for this, I would probably squeeze it in just a little bit. And what's nice about the triplanar, you'll see it already has a little bit of nice little variation in the wing and the structure. It's pretty nice. So to give it a membrane in the wing, very simple we're just going to add a box and you could do it with a plane but I don't like using those because it will it'll be so thin that you can have some issues this way we can put it in here and we can adjust the thickness and the placement a little bit easier 
and this is looking pretty good right there I like that okay last thing for the shape we'll go ahead and validate this as soon as it auto saves validate it and we're gonna come down to the trim and just start trimming with the lasso okay now we got it kind of trimmed up where we can zoom in a little bit make it a little bit easier and you don't have to be super careful about this just trim it where it's inside the veins of the wing you notice I have a little bit of the the uh, rope stabilizer on there and you can increase that size a little bit make it a little bit easier so if you come up here the where is it In this one stroke lazy rope stabilizer make it a little bit longer it will be a little bit easier to stabilize your wing and your on your cut here and I don't like having quite so much stabilizer on there let's knock it down just a little bit that's about right right there makes it a lot, a lot easier to use right about that much okay so that looks pretty good now you can see we got a little bit of issue right there it could be a little thinner so we'll come over here and gizmo make it a little bit thinner that could be an issue with the wing that probably is actually issue with the wing itself so let's click on this and we'll use the clay bring it down and see if we can get that to connect it's probably not going to like it too much no so we'll use the move tool instead bring it way down and just move this over and down and that looks pretty good right there move this over and if we voxel remesh that should do a pretty decent job and that'll be all right for what we're doing okay last thing to make your wings transparent on your box go over to the materials tab and instead normally I would use refraction for like glass but for this um, additive usually works much better um, we're gonna bring the opacity way down and let's change the color to more of like a pinkish red something like that bring it up a little bit and the more you come down here the more transparent it's gonna be anyway so give it just a little bit of color and paint all and now it's going to be semi-transparent and it's so transparent now you can barely see it unless the light is at it just right so to know that it is there add a box in behind and you know anything it really doesn't it doesn't have to be a box it can be anything put this in behind it and slide it down and then you can see that you're nice and transparent and that's actually doing what you want it to do okay so this one let's unselect this and this this one we can join temporarily and I'm gonna add a mirror and it depends on which mirror you want Now with this, you just need to use the gizmo to mirror it over. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's see. The, uh, the box, no, this one. Now with that, I think since we joined it, that's gonna be an issue. So let's, Go ahead and validate the mirror. Validate it. Uninstanced everything. And we're going to separate and separate. 
All right, so this one, materials, additive. There we go. We just had to fix that. And then this one, is it this? Yes. Go up and make it additive. All right, so there. Back to clear wings. So that's the thing. Sometimes you have to pay attention to what you have going on. Sometimes you'll have issues you need to fix. All right, so I am going to grab all of these and move them to the origin. And now it'll be much easier to put them in place. We're going to zoom them up, move them in, put them at the top. And there you go some nice wings and then you can select and move them as you like but that's an easy way to make some very nice transparent wings all right if you guys are enjoying these videos please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time all right thanks